We move on now to a story getting national attention today. How did a 25 year old man enroll in Dallas ISD as a student? Well, our Dan Haggerty has been asking those questions. He joins us live at Hillcrest High School. Well, to start, he lied. He also exploited a loophole that was meant for disaster victims. He convinced not only everyone at this school, but everyone that they played at basketball that he was just a teenager who loved the game. In fact, one of the coaches they played him said that he was unstoppable out on the court. It sounds like the plot of a movie. In fact, I think it was one back in the 90s. But in this case, it landed him in jail. Teammates knew number 14 as 17 year old Ray Sean Richardson, when actually he was 25 year old Sidney Gilstrap Portley, playing the entire season as a star at Hillcrest High School. It's difficult to, to try to even fathom that, that it even happened. Hillcrest principal Chris Bayer found out after one of Gilstrap's old coaches from nearly a decade ago recognized him playing in a high school AAU tournament in late April. I was at basketball games. I saw him in the hallway. We saw him here and there. And so um, the just the, the natural appearance of him did not cause a red flag for me to see. Gilstrap enrolled with Dallas ISD in August, posing as a Hurricane Harvey evacuee with no permanent home or documents that survived the disaster. The district loosened its requirements at the time to help victims from Houston. And to abuse that is just like you can't, as a I would say, a normal thinking person. Process might we even do that. It's not even something we even think about. Police arrested Gilstrap for tampering with government documents, and they're investigating claims he was in a relationship with a 14 year old girl at the school. The district wouldn't comment on that, only describing Gilstrap as a quiet student who followed the rules. There was no indication on our side, even, even replaying it in my mind, um, as far as what he um, portrayed himself as. It's kind of amazing that he wasn't found out earlier, considering that Gilstrap played both high school and college basketball here locally. The folks at the school says one of the things that hurt the most was that he was portraying himself as a homeless student, something that they, they have here. They have kids that are homeless, and he took advantage of all of the things that teachers give to those kids, like uh, school supplies and free books, clothes. He even sat down and lied with teachers during counseling sessions. Reporting live, Dan Haggerty, CBS 11 News. Dan Haggerty, thank you very much.